Are you into memory keeping? I just started getting into it and I just wanted to share a little bit of my setup so far and what I'm using to do that. I'm Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper and on my channel I talk about bullet journaling, creative planning, and some other things like brush calligraphy and alcohol inks. Today I'm talking about adding some photos into my planning. There's always been a little bit of an empty space in some of my spreads and I was inspired by folks at the Planners of Higher Education conference. We just had a virtual event and I was really inspired to finally pull the trigger on getting a mini printer. There are so many out there and I did a bunch of searches and even though Canon IV, Canon Selfie, Instax printers were probably the most popularly named, I went with one that's kind of off the beaten path and I chose a LifePrint mini printer. It was rated pretty well actually on some sites that I was on and it was a major deal on Amazon so I went ahead and ordered it myself to try out. This is not a gifted product, so this is really me just like trying something new. And the printer comes like this. I just wanted the one that printed out in a two inch by three inch. So these are the two sets of things that I got. And like many printers, pretty small and has the charger that's a mini USB up here. And then the battery indicator here with a simple power button here that also doubles as like the pairing Bluetooth button. And so it was pretty easy to set up actually. You just need an app on your phone and you connect it via Bluetooth and then you kind of go from there. Just need to add in some zinc paper. So I'm gonna do that now. You order these in packs of like 25, 50, 100 and they come in these little packs that you just put into here. I got these because they are sticker paper and I wanted to be able to just easily put them into my planner. So you just pop this off and you put it with the blue side down. Then when you turn it on, you just use the app to send the photo that you want to go to the printer. There was a couple spots that I decided to put the photos in because I was super excited and this came with five sheets. So I, of course, used them immediately. So I put them in a couple places. One is in my passion planner. I was using this weekly for a while to overview my week. And there's always this open space down in the space of possibility. And I just added a couple here so I could journal on the side. I figured this would be a fun way to look back and just see visually what was going on in that time. I do keep a lot of my planners, probably like 98% of my planners. So it's kind of nice to look back and see a visual cue as to what was going on in that time in addition to the stickers. So, and then I had this here. I think it's a beautiful, just simple way to add that. And since I used this, I also got a Hemlock and Oak undated planner. I will show you the unboxing for this soon. I'm editing that now. But similarly, I just added in a little memory here and was able to jot down a little bit of a reflection next to it. Great way to use some of my extra stickers. And you can see that with the zinc paper, it doesn't have a true, true black because it's using like these crystals in the, in the actual ink rather than using the full range of color to create really rich dark and really rich bright. So that's the only downside. I think that the quality of the paper and the ink printing is just a little bit less than what you might, I don't know, like a more professional printer. So I'm gonna plan on adding these things here. And for these smaller spaces, I'm just gonna play around with the app and see if it's possible that I can do maybe a layout of some sort so that I can do two photos on one. We'll see, I'll play around with it. And then also in my everyday carry bullet journal, this is a passion planner journal if you've been following along. And in some empty spaces, I can add photos here too. If I run out of space in the weekly, because I already had one that week, so I just added it in underneath the day in my daily log. So there's a couple different places that I'm gonna be using these. I'm really excited. I used to be a scrapbooker, so being able to add in some images 
is something I'm really excited about. So let me let me show you what that looks like when you actually print from it. So I am opening up the Life Print app. And it just pulls up all of your media and your camera roll. So what I can do is first turn this on. And then you'll see the light come on. And then I just have to choose the photo that I want to print. So when you choose the photo that you want to print, you have a couple different options. You can add a caption. This printer somehow allows you to create images that the receiver can scan and it'll show like a 15 second video. I'm not really sure what that's about, creating like Harry Potter type of photos. I'm not playing around with that right now. Um, so instead here you can kind of play around with, oh, the hyper photo, that's the video part. I'm not messing around with that. You can edit it in here, crop it, but nothing else. You just number of copies and then you just press print. Wow, that was dramatic. And now it just takes a couple seconds for it to go from your phone to the printer itself. Let's cross your fingers. Oh, you know what would be helpful? If you press the printer button, you have to press connect. <laughs> that would be smart, Jessica. Great. Now, the photo should be going to the printer. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, sure, sure, sure. And apparently you have to keep that on the bottom or bad things will happen. So it'll print out this and then the photo will come. You can hear it really working. <laughs> So that was about 30 seconds, and apparently that's a little faster than some of the other printers out there. But you can probably also see that you can see the banding on it a little bit. So again, the quality is a little bit different than maybe another kind of printer. I haven't tried that many. This is working for my purposes, honestly. So now after it kind of develops just a little bit, you can go in and just peel off the backing and stick it to wherever you want to put it on. This is a picture of my mom helping my brother choose the name of his new dog. Isn't it cute? They're so cute. Okay, so I'm really excited to go back now that I've got this 50 pack that came today and print a shit ton of photos and back plan in my passion planner and fill in all those spaces uh, with some good memories. So if there's any other tips that you have since I'm kind of returning to this hobbies. Again, I used to scrapbook. Uh, any tips that you have or what do you do that makes it kind of a creative hobby for you? Things that you have in your arsenal that I should consider or resist? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Would love to hear. If you have any other questions about this, let me know. So far, so good. I'm excited to do an update for you in a couple weeks. So like this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.